happy for start. Scott, thank you for joining us. Another exciting game to look forward to this weekend as we face Accrington here at the Broadfield Stadium. Can I get your thoughts as we head into that one, please? Yeah, um, pleased to be at home. Feels like we haven't been at home for an age. Um, I think it's only three weeks, so, but it feels longer because we've had some kind of tough away journeys. So, uh, pleased to be home. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Um, we want to try and get back to winning ways very quickly um, and it's a good a good game for us you know um, they're a tough tough side you know I know John and Jimmy really really well and their sides are always hard to play against um, they're in the playoff position for a reason they've got good players got players that can hurt you um, but you know so have we we've got players that can make a difference as well so yeah no it's a game we're looking forward to we've we've, we've had a good training session today and we'll We'll top it up again tomorrow with some, some fine detail and, and look forward to the game. Yeah, I'm sure now we've obviously looked back and reflected on that Aston Villa game. There's some thought going into the selection for the weekend. Is there any sort of headaches that you're having to sort of get past after some good performances on Tuesday night? Yeah, there, there is, it, definitely. Um, you know, the players did really well um, Tuesday night. Um, you know, I, I kind of had a little bit of a moan about certain aspects of the game. Uh, but that's me kind of, you know, striving for standards all the time and want to always improve and look look better than than we look at the moment. And um, whilst I had a moan, I do believe that we played well. I do believe there was really good actions in the game, some good goals and and some good performances. So, yeah, it definitely gives me a headache for the weekend. Yeah, and Accrington obviously going very well, as you've said, you know, in the playoffs so far. You know, we've dropped slightly down the table compared to what we were at the end of September, but it shows, doesn't it, three, three points on Saturday and we're right back in the hunt again. I know not, we're not necessarily looking at the league table, but I suppose that just shows how competitive this league is. Yeah, it's so tight, isn't it? You know, I think we're, what was it, five points away from the playoff place ourselves with a game in hand in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so I know we're in a good position still. You know, we've, we've had a good start to the campaign and um, even though the last month's been a bit rocky, um, performances have still been good in, in you know in large and um, we've always said that we always go after performances and if the performances are right, uh, the results results will follow. Um, and we're just around the corner now from hopefully getting um, what we deserve. Yeah, obviously as you mentioned as well, back at home. We know how good we are at home, how much of an impact you know, the home crowd can have. It must be a great feeling after, as you said, what feels like an age and what's been a lot of travelling as well. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough, obviously, but it is kind of League 2 football for you. You know, we have to have them weeks and sometimes months where you travel away a lot and we're just coming out at the back end of that. So, now, like I say, we're pleased to be at home, um, hopefully see good numbers uh, through the turnstiles and, and good voice from the, from, the, from the lads, you know, from the crowd and... And, and get behind the players um, and and support like you have done all season because you know you've been brilliant the players certainly feel it I feel it and you know long may that continue yeah and in terms of the workload for the rest of the month it's you know it's looking slightly more bearable would you say than what we've had in the last couple of weeks obviously we've got no midweek game which is always nice and then you know other than Barrow and then some another horrible away on a Tuesday night Notts County we've then got the Saturday after that so is that sort of something that you look at at this stage or is that you just take it as it comes and you go game by game? I think we take it as it comes but it is always nice to get them clear weeks <clears throat> excuse me I think that it's always good to kind of play um, on a Saturday and then not play till the following Saturday because we can debrief the last game properly and prepare for the next game properly um, without that disruption of a of a Tuesday night. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Like I said, the next Tuesday night, I think it's Notts County away, so we go up there again. Um, long journey, it's a tough opposition again, but we just take each game as it comes. And, and the next game is the most important, which is Accrington on uh, Accrington on Saturday. Thank you. Brilliant. Scott, I know you look forensically at the opposition each week um, that you're going to play. What have you spotted this week with Accrington and what are you expecting from them in terms of style and formation? Um, Formation-wise, they're predominantly 4-2-3-1. Um, they have certain rotations. Fullbacks like to come in, in the pitch. Um, wide players like to come in the pitch. You know, they've got um, frets at the top of the pitch. Um, got good players. Um, they kind of mix it up from being expansive, playing out to sometimes being direct so you can never predict what 
what action's coming next. Um, so they're a difficult side, they're a good side. Um, I know John Coleman really well and Jimmy Bell really well. Um, always had competitive teams um, in every division that they've been in. Always, you know, had competitive teams and always been a tough place to go and a, and a tough kind of opposition to play against. Um, so, yeah, we're expecting a, a difficult game, a tough game. Um, but like I say, one we're looking forward to. And you've obviously played against their sides before. What's your sort of record like against them? Can you remember? Or do you, have you had much success against them? I haven't played against uh, John's team um, for a few seasons now, actually. Because you've avoided each other. Kind you've of kind of avoided game. each other. You know, obviously they've played a lot of football in League One as well. Mm. And um, But my recollection would be, I'd have to, I, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't actually know. I'd have to look back. Um, but they're always tough games. Mm. Right? You know, I always remember that. In fact, I think his record's probably better than mine. I think they've, they've beat us more than I've beaten it, yeah. if, if I recall. Yeah. So, um, going back, I know Sam mentioned um, selection headaches for this week, and uh, you, Jack Rolls performed really well on um, Tuesday. We've mentioned the keepers on Tuesday as well. Um, that obviously, you've been alternating those. Is it set in your mind yet, or are you still deciding? Obviously? Yeah, no, I'm, I've made my mind up um, yesterday afternoon once I watched Accrington play, um, kind of made my decision on what I'm going to do uh, and then started planning, um, which we've done some work today in training with that team um, in place. And um, so, yeah, I'm already kind of there now. Yeah. And on Tuesday, you, afterwards, you mentioned, you used the word soft quite a bit, the soft goals you've let in and that. How, is that something that's a mental thing with the players or is it a physical thing or is it a technical thing? How, how do you fix that? Not, not letting in soft goals because it, it's probably it's just want, just wanting to attack the ball or is it something more? Sort of well, I, well, I think from a coaching point of view that there's always going to be something. You know, mm. there's always something to work on and improve on. Um, and if we if we spent the next two weeks, you know, talking about defending and, and coaching the team to defend more resiliently, uh, more aggressively then probably our attacking prowess would suffer mm. and our possession would suffer. So you're constantly going round and round and round in a circle, making sure that you cover all bases as best as you can to make sure that we defend properly, we attack properly and we, we hold possession properly. Um, so that's kind of my job to make sure that there's a balance between when we do what and mm. how much we do it for. Um, and also the players have got to kind of want to, you know, defend well. Um, I think that we we run up the pitch really aggressively, we press really aggressively, but I do believe that there's not an intense about, or there hasn't been an intensity about as when the ball goes behind our initial press. And I think that we can run harder back into our slots quicker and become a little more solid. Um, as you can imagine, in possession, we're expansive. We use the whole pitch, yeah. but it's on them turnovers of possession that we need to run south quicker. And you know that is a desire. Um, you know, there's there's nothing to do with ability or or anything else. If you can run really hard that way, then what's stopping you from running hard that way? There's no slope on the pitch. The pitch is level. It's just a desire and a mindset. Yeah. And on Saturday, if I gave you two options, winning 2-0 or winning 4-3, which one would you take? 2-0. 2-0. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Injury-wise this week, obviously, you know, Dion is out, I believe. Joe Williams, what happened with him last week? Is he still a doubt? No, he's not a doubt. Um, he he kind of had a... An, it was like a hip flexor issue. Right. Um, so we trained on, on Friday um, en route to, to Nottingham. Um, and we were, he was in the team. We were finishing the set plays, and he stretched for a ball and, and felt his hip, and it was really uncomfortable for him. And we were quite worried that it might be a little tear in there, so we we waited 24 hours for the morning of the game to see how he woke up, and he woke up pretty sore, so we we had to rule him out that morning and change things about in terms of the team, um, and then we sent him kind of back down south um, straight away to get a scan and the scan come back with bruising but no tear, no kind of nothing major. So um, we kind of monitored him early part of this week and then he's trained 
for the first time today and, and come through the training session no problem at all so he, he comes back into contention um, you're right Dion Conroy is still um, a no at the moment um, but everybody else is fit so yeah Good. and slightly connected with injuries you've had quite a few captains this year because of injuries you've had Ben I believe Dion Harry Liam the wheel right on Tuesday night is that a disruptive thing or does it, is it just a testament to your squad that you've got so many leaders in there no, I think listen I think that we've got first of all we've got players in that in that dressing room who care um, we've got players in there who lead by example we've got players in there who lead by voice um, we've got players who um you know, um, are natural leaders, and we've got players who are not so natural leaders. They kind of look after what they want to do, which is fine. You know, mm -hmm. as long as the performances are good. Um, and I think that with the injuries that we've had, with the armband has been swapped around, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it gives a responsibility for for the whole group sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. um, but we've got a really good kind of dressing room. I've got to say, it's, it's been brilliant even through this sticky patch. The work that's been done in the background, not just as me as the head coach and, and my staff, you know, we've even got Ben Gladwin doing unit meetings now with the players, you know, sitting down and looking at uh, clips of the midfield, looking at clips of the defence, the attackers. Uh, and the fact that the players are really buying into it is fantastic and it shows that we all care and we all want to do do the right thing and, 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 and win games of football. Um, and we're sticking together. That's the main thing. We, there's been no kind of arguments or fallouts or you know people showing a bad attitude. If anything, people in, in and around the building and, and certainly at the training ground, they've probably gone up a gear. You know, since we've been not picking up the points and and rightly so as well because there's only one thing that can happen. If you work hard, you get to where you get to eventually. Yeah, brilliant. Good luck, Sarah. Thank you.